Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through cyclone guys. We will be discussing this cyclone concept in detail guys. We will be discussing about normal cyclone and tropical cyclone. There is a small difference between the normal cyclone and tropical cyclone. But the points are the same guys. So I will be explaining you only once. So that any question might be asked like explain about cyclone. You can write about both or depending on your time and marks, you can vary the things guys. Okay. Okay, so basically what is a cyclone guys? So cyclone is nothing but a storm which occurs in the ocean. Okay, okay. So it is a type of rotating storm that occurs in the ocean or sea near a tropic that is called as tropical cyclone. So if it occurs near tropic, it is called as tropical cyclone. If it occurs in Indian Ocean, it is called as a normal cyclone. So that is the only difference guys. And rest of the things like characteristics and everything are same in between both of them. So that is the reason why there will be no issues by writing the same answer multiple times. Okay. Okay. So if it is rotating clockwise near the southern hemisphere. So near southern hemisphere it will be rotating clockwise. And near northern hemisphere it will be rotating anti-clockwise. Okay. So this is sm a small introduction about cyclone guys. So now let us go through the characteristics. Okay, so the size of it can be from 80 kilometers to 300 kilometers. So here we are talking about the diameter guys. Okay, yeah in diameter. So it's written here. Okay, so even smaller ones like 50 kilometers or less are also be are, are also been emerged. Okay, similarly spread can be above sorry speed. It's not spread guys. It is a speed can be about 32 kilometers per hour. Okay. In ocean, its velocity increases and on land, its velocity decreases because it is a cyclone which occurs inside water. Sorry, on water, right? Yes. So that is the reason why on water it will be increasing. And one more reason and simple reason it will be like on water, the water molecules like this, those can be moved easily, right? So that's the reason why it is a fast. Whereas on land, the land is a solid place. So that it cannot be moved so easily. So that's the reason why the speed will be reduced. Okay. So in case of cyclone, we have a, at the center of the cyclone, we will be having a low pressure area. Okay. That is of 650. Okay. Similarly, cyclone can be both mobile and non-mobile. Yes. So mobile is nothing but it can move and it cannot move. So both the types of cyclones are available and these are commonly seen in summer. Okay. Okay. So any cyclone which is in water, the process or the formation will be of the same steps guys okay okay so so these are the steps guys okay okay so the first step is nothing but warm moisture air moves over the ocean so basically the warm warm is nothing but a, a bit of heat guys you can say you'll be saying warm water drink warm water right so in that way so due to sun the the air molecules which are moving on the surface of the water, they are a bit warm. So warm moist air moves over the ocean. Okay. So once after that, the water vapor rises in the atmosphere. So basically the water will start evaporating and the water vapor rises in the atmosphere. As the water vapor rises, it cools and, con con and condenses into liquid particles. Okay. So we know that the clouds and all these things right so how the water will be converted sorry how the water will be converted into evaporator and evaporator sorry and the evaporated water will be sorry evaporated gas or the moisture will be converted again into water so we know all the cycle right yes okay so it will be condensed and condensed into water molecules and condensation releases heat into the atmosphere making the air light so basically whenever the condensation process is done the atmosphere will be releasing some kind of gases or some kind of heat you can say that will be making the air molecules lighter guys okay so the warm air continues to rise with the moisture arising from the ocean taking place which which could cause winds so these winds slowly they'll be forming into cyclones guys okay so that is what the same points which are written here so you can go through them guys okay okay so the next topics that the next points that are nothing but the common countermeasures and the problems we'll be discussing in tropical cyclone okay so now let us move to tropical cyclone so we discussed about what the definition of tropical cyclone is nothing but it is a type of rotating storm that occurs in ocean or sea near the tropic is called as tropical cyclone yes that's true similarly characteristics of this or the major effects are the same guys so major effects let us discuss now so characteristics are the same the speed the velocity and everything the speed the radius, the diameter and everything will be the same guys. So moist, so the major effects. Okay, so damage to the building. So we know that how cyclones 
could be there so they will be devastating right so they can destroy anything so damage to buildings and other structures road essential services crops and what not they can damage everything guys okay so similarly major loss of life and livestock so livestock is nothing but in simple words you can say those are nothing but animals okay so for them also there will be a huge issue okay similarly countermeasures so how you can avoid the cyclones so moving people to safe shelters so this point will be reducing the loss of lives and the livestock guys okay so here we are moving them to the safe places where they are po where they are not vulnerable to cyclones or any kind of disasters okay so precautionary measures during the warmer period so when the temperatures are high you should make sure that there could be a chance so you should always make sure that that will not affect a huge issue right yes so public awareness and awareness should be given so public education and awareness should be given yes so information details of info about cycle should be announced in the tvs and radios like if the if the news is public like the cyclone has started that news should be published everywhere as much as possible guys so that everyone will be aware and they will be taking their own measures right yes so special problem areas of disaster management so basically even everything is going fine there could be some kind of issues right so those issues are assessing effect and needs may be difficult yes so there could be some issues and a widespread destruction or loss of a counter disaster resources so few sometimes we cannot do anything right and searching and rescuing is a bit tough so basically if there is a cyclone it will be moving from one place to another place so we cannot say that this place is destroyed go to that place first like that we cannot say and widespread of destruction so that destruction will not be at a single place it could be a huge city also it could be destroyed just with a single cyclone right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be going through storm guys so basically in simple words you can say storm in water is nothing but a cyclone guys okay so let us meet in the next lecture and discuss some introduction about storms okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching